Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is my closet. Um, if you notice, if you're new to my channel, I don't usually wear glasses. They have my reading glasses, but I'm going to do a video where I'm going to be looking at items on my tablet. So I'm not going to be able to see unless I do that. I'm doing this video because um, I thought it was really interesting. I'm going to say that I believe the first person that started was Jessie Style, and I will link her channel down below. She did a video on what bags are grotesque. I know that's really a strong word, but I thought it was very funny and I thought it was very interesting. We all have our different opinions. We all have different tastes and it's perfectly fine. And let me just say before I go any further, this is purely just my personal opinion. I'm going to exaggerate a little bit because I, I don't think anything is really grotesque, but I'm just going to poke fun at a couple of things. I'm also kind of doing a little spin-off on Yoda Styles video that I just watched yesterday, so I'm going to link her channel down below also. Yoda did a video on bags that she will not be buying or bags that she will not be buying anytime soon unless they really, really get discounted. So, you know, we're just doing this kind of um, for fun, to give our opinion, just to, you know, just to have a little, you know, a little, uh, you know, a little fun with, with everybody's opinions and, and taste and everyone again has different tastes, different opinions. So I'm not doing this to offend anybody. It's just, there are a couple of bags that I would not buy. Uh, I'm not talking about bags right now that I won't buy because I can't afford them like Chanel. I personally think the Chanel bag is pretty ugly. Um, the flat bag, you know, with the diamonds reminds me of the bags my grandmother used to carry back in the, you know, in the seventies. So I'm not that attracted to it other than the fact that it's Chanel. The bag itself, not that, not that crazy about it. But in any case, most of these bags that I'm going to show you, and it's just a few, just a few, um, are really hideous for lack of a better word. I am going to start and most of them I saw on Fashion File. Uh, I, I don't know what this is, but it's sold. And I was following it just so I can keep it, you know, up front so I could talk about it. It sold and then it came back in stock. You think? This, wouldn't you send it back if you got this in the mail? It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. What is this? I'm I don't want to... I, I'm trying not to let you see have a glare. What the heck is this? It, it's uh, I don't know. It it looks like some apparatus you would find in the movie Alien on someone's back. I'm not sure. I I mean I know it's a backpack. It it, it I guess I guess the two side pockets look like um I guess they would be for water bottles. I don't know. This, this is really bizarre looking. It definitely looks like something you would carry on your back in in a in an apocalypse. I, I, I don't know. It's just just really not for me. Not for me. Uh, that was one of them. Let me uh, let me go back to my. Uh... <laughs> I thought that was kind of bizarre. Oh, there's a Louis bag that I want. I'm not paying four thousand for it. I have a. Uh, I have another bag here. I'm just waiting to find it. Just give me a second. Oh, this is well. You know what? This is kind of cute. It's kind of cute, kind of bizarre at the same time. I have a bit of a hard time with the, with the. Uh, I don't know what they're called. It's a. It's a collab Fendi with Sarah Coleman, and it's the fisheye. I mean, I guess that's why they call it a fisheye. I'm torn between this. I'll tell you why. I know they make this in the solid colors too. I have vertigo. When I look at this, I get a little queasy, just a little bit. Oh, sorry for the pop-up. Yeah, that, that makes me, yeah, makes my stomach turn just a tad. 
just a tad. I'm not, you know, not, not really loving that. Let me see what else I had here that I thought was just a little bit strange looking. Oh, I can't show that Gucci bag. It looked like a bowling ball because it's sold. So you'll see, um, wait a minute, maybe I can. Oh yeah, I can. Look at this. This is interesting. This is a basketball with handles. I kind of, I don't know, I could probably acquire a taste for that, but it really looks like a black basketball with handles. Kind of strange. Check that out again. A little weird. It's Gucci. Just not quite feeling that one. Not quite. I think I only really picked two more that I thought was just, eh, you know, like why kind of bag. Let's see, where am I going with this? All right, I'm almost there. Oh, <laughs> this is a good one. This is a beaut. Maybe I'll save that one for last. Let me just see if there were any others that I thought were just eh, you know, just not for me. No, I think, uh, oh yeah, here, yeah, here's another Fendi. Here's another Fendi. I guess it's Fendi. This is called the Glass Beaded Mini Pico Baguette Tobacco Moro. If I saw this in my house and it's a little dark, I might get the raid. I, I don't know. I'm thinking this looks a little too much like a spider or, you know, kind of resembles those lantern flies that we're finding all over the place now. I don't know, take a closer look. Hopefully you're not getting a glare. Again, you know, if you leave that on your couch at night and you close the lights and you go downstairs or whatever to get a drink, you see that? You might call an exterminator. I'm just not, you know, and, and again, if anyone has these bags, you're gonna see something in it that I don't see that other people don't see, that's perfectly, that's fine. We all have different opinions. We all have different tastes. Yoda said in her video yesterday that I watched that she would uh, never, which one was it I think? Oh, she's just not feeling the small puzzle bags. I just did a video. I just took two months to pay for my puzzle bag and I love it. It's not Yoda's thing. That's quite all right, quite all right. And last but not least, I am going to show you this one. I was tempted to buy just to have as a conversation piece. It's not, well, I'm not gonna say it's not expensive. Of course it's expensive. Um, relatively speaking, it was discounted to 535. In the grand scheme of what we spend on handbags, that's not very expensive. And I might have to get it if it continues to drop. But again, I'm only thinking of getting this because I think it would make a great conversation piece. This is, this bag should be, it's called the Fendi Lambskin Rabbit Fox Fur Micro Buggy Baguette. I think it should be called the manscaping baguette because it really needs a waxing. Check this out. Oh, wait a second. No, I gotta have you see this in its beauty. Oh, I lost it naturally. Okay, here we go. What? What were they thinking with that poof of hair, that unruly, can you see it? <laughs> that unruly mess on top. What is that? I'm gonna give you guys a closer look so you could just really get a good idea. 
of what this looks like, this needs some serious grooming. It needs some serious grooming. What, what is that? What is that? It's like, it's like carrying around genitals. It's just, no, no, no. What do you think about that, Winnie? Just, no. <laughs> it's so no that I feel like I have to get it. it. It's one of those bags that you just have to say, you gotta have it. <laughs> you gotta have it. Like put it on your coffee table for show. <laughs> look at look at that. Doesn't that kind of make you feel like ew? What, what the hell? <laughs> what, what is that? Um, so anyway, those are the bags that I will not be purchasing, except maybe the mini, the mini Fendi with the you know unruly uh, pubes. I kind of like it. I might trim it if I buy it. I kind of like it. In any case, I'm going to go right to jewelry of the day. If you saw my video, my unboxing of my birthday haul part one, there will be a part two. I just have to wait for the things that are coming in the mail. And um, of course, they're coming with compliments of the hubby. I'm just wearing my regular uh, stud. If you've seen my videos before, this is just one of my go-to pieces. It's a diamond solitaire, really pretty. I got this a, a long time ago. I'm gonna say maybe 10 years ago. I'm just wearing my wedding set, one of my v Movado watches. If you've seen me before, you know that I like Movado because they're very small face watches, very petite faces, and I have a very small wrist, size six, and you can get really nice small faces that are not overbearing on a tiny hand. And then I'm just wearing this. This is really pretty. This is just sterling silver. They're stackable. I got them on Amazon. I probably have these like 10 years also. Um, this is, the middle one is just pink crystal stones in a sterling silver band. I know it's hard to tell on the monitor, the color. This is, they're just sterling silver and I stack them. It's really pretty. I know you can't tell my shirt looks white, but it's really, um, it's a baby pink. So I'm wearing a pink, you know, pink crystal uh, in between stacked. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm going for a pedicure and I am taking bag of the day, my Balenciaga. This will be the, I think, third time I'm using it. It was in my video of those that I have not touched at all. I'm using them. I'm using... I've used almost all the bags that I showed in that video because I promised myself I'm going to use every one of them by the end of August, um, except maybe the YSL denim. I'm saving that for the fall. But here's my uh, beautiful gray Balenciaga. I did an unboxing video on this one. I don't know if I did a what fits. I'm not gonna do a what fits today, but pretty much everything. I have my wallet, my zippy wallet, my little glasses, hand sanitizer, my keys, and a little um, bag insert. I love this bag. I absolutely love it. No regrets on this one. It's a little costly, and it was a spontaneous purchase, but I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful bag. So, if you enjoyed this content, oh, one more thing I had to mention, the big elephant in the room, if anyone's noticing, you know what else I got for my birthday? A sty in my eye. It's a beaut. Never had one of those before. So happy 55th to me. Um, anyway, so I will be seeing you next week. I am back to work. Well, I'm not back to work tomorrow. I'm back to work the rest of the week. And then I have another vacation. So I'll have to uh, get some uh, good videos going then. Hopefully I will get in the mail what I'm waiting for that I purchased as part of my birthday haul part two. So anyway, today is Sunday, I think. Have a great day. Again, hope no one was offended by the bags that I showed that I thought were just, you know, uh. <laughs> um, if you have it, it's your taste. It's you. Enjoy it. Have a great Sunday and I will see you on the next video.
Bye.